Over the summer, there are usually lots of outdoor concerts, fun runs, and festivals. But before you buy your ticket, do some research. In tonight's Action Line Consumer Alert, Shawnee Barrow explains what to look out for so that you don't get taken. The Hawaii Better Business Bureau is warning people to be on the lookout for advertisements for events and activities, especially during the summer months. Anytime you're looking for an event or if an opportunity of an event pops up where you've been solicited or you've seen it on social media and it looks like something you may be interested in, you want to check multiple sources of information. Hawaii BBB CEO Greg Dunn says that's because con artists are posting flashy ads on social media sites for made-up events, selling tickets and then leaving with the money and no event. He says they'll even create fake websites to lure people in. A few of these um, individuals, these scammers, will build out the front page and maybe a second page. You get to the third or fourth page and you see the Latin words, the Elisa Ipsum, uh, from the template that they use to create the fake website. The BBB also says beware of events that claim proceeds from an event go to charity. They have to be registered with the Attorney General's office. So you can check the charity division at the AG's office to make sure that they are a legitimate fundraising entity. And you also want to make sure a large portion of the proceeds are going back to the charity and not just going to the organizers. The BBB says if you're unsure about an event, find a phone number or email address connected to it and see if it works. Check the BBB website and find out if a complaint has been filed. If the event claims that proceeds will benefit a charity, call the charity directly to verify. And look on the internet and see what information you can find about the event. Now, if you have a consumer concern or are interested in becoming an Action Line volunteer, give us a call at 591-0222 weekdays between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or send an email to actionline at khon2.com. Sean Ibarra, KHON2 News.